do some basic dental anatomy with you. So this is the, um, these are both molar teeth, so these are your back teeth. This part of the tooth is called the crown of your tooth and that's the part that you can normally see above the gum line. And these are the roots of the teeth, so some teeth have one, some have two, some have three, some even have four. Uh, this, this part is the bone around the teeth. And this is the gum. So this is the periodontal ligament. So this is the connective tissue attachment uh, of your teeth to the bone and the gum. This the enamel and this is the hard outer layer of the teeth. This is the dentine which is the middle layer and it's softer and more sensitive and this is called the pulp. And this is where the blood and nerve supply of the teeth is. So what we'll talk about is your gums and brushing. So every time we eat something sugary, uh, we get plaque forming on the surface of the teeth. And it normally forms on surfaces that are harder to get to. So that's usually in between the teeth. and also in any grooves or pits in the teeth. Okay, and plaque is the soft, sticky film that sticks to your teeth. Um, it can be brushed off easily. It contains millions of bacteria. So some of this bacteria can be harmful to your gums and to the teeth. So if we don't brush the teeth for a while, Sometimes the plaque can harden and you get something called calculus forming or tartar. And this is, you can't brush this off. This needs to be professionally removed by a dentist or hygienist. So this plaque makes it even harder for you to clean. And it, more plaque can build up on top of it as well. So the plaque and the calculus can start irritating the gums. So bacteria in the plaque can release toxins that causes inflammation and cause your gums to become inflamed. So they can become swollen, might be a bit tender, and they might bleed easily when you brush. If we don't treat this, uh, this is called gingivitis, which is a reversible inflammation of the gums. So if we leave this untreated, then this can progress and it can start affecting the ligaments that attach your, to your teeth. And the gums will become loose, so they won't be nice and tight against the teeth anymore, they'll become loose and you might get something called periodontal pockets. So this is where plaque bacteria can get into and it's even harder to clean. So the toxins can start eating away at the bone as well and you get some bone loss. And this is called periodontitis and it's irreversible at this stage. So treatment is aimed to slow down the progress of the disease and preventing it getting worse. And the worst case scenario is that you eventually might lose a lot of bone. Your teeth might become loose. Um, you can get infections 
uh, around the gums as well and you may end up losing the teeth. Okay, I hope that helps.